So our lab is really interested in the evolution of the, the structure of vertebrates, animals with backbones. In particular, we're interested in, in the structure of dinosaurs and their modern day relatives, which includes birds, as well as crocodilians and lizards and things like that. We're really interested in, in how animals work and really how that evolves over time. And so we'll often use everything ranging from the latest in medical imaging, CT scanning, MRI, to very fundamental and traditional anatomical techniques such as dissection. Really what we're trying to do is to understand what are the soft tissues that actually close and animate these skeletons, actually give them their biology. And along the way what we do is we wind up learning a lot about their modern day relatives, how modern animals work as well as their ancestors. Here in our lab, we ask a lot of different questions, and the reality is that I certainly can't do all of this myself. And so, in our lab, we've set up lots of different kinds of projects that involve students at a lot of different levels. One of the exciting things about Ohio University is we can engage lots of students to get involved in research, and we can involve those students in the details of the research. So we have lots of undergraduates that come into our lab and they get involved in various ways. The grad students will develop some of their own questions and their doctoral dissertations will be tackling large problems of their own and they can draw on the resources that we have in our lab. Funding these many projects, these highly collaborative projects, involves lots of different funding agencies. My major funding comes from the National Science Foundation who's been very interested in, in our research because it, it's really quite different and that it really is sort of bridging the past and the present. But we do lots of outreach to the public and to the broader scientific community. A good question somebody may ask by looking at all of this is, why do we really need to know about dinosaurs? But we can really use dinosaurs as a vehicle to talk to the public about broader interests in science. We can use them to talk about engineering principles that relate to stress and strain and physiology, volumetric airflow. And so in a sense, dinosaurs form this very sort of palatable, familiar group, but then we can sort of use the dinosaurs as a means of talking about more sophisticated scientific questions.